my internet modem came, but I can't use it because apparently I don't have a phone jack in my apartment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you watched my unfurnished apartment tour, the, the, sh the short one, you, you'll probably see on the walls there are just outlets and no phone jack and I, I need it I need to you know plug it in plug it in back here and then plug it into the wall so I can get internet but I don't have a phone jack so I gotta call them up and someone can come out and install one uh, I was hoping to get internet by now, but now I have to wait longer. And the, this modem was sent to me a day late. And then the day I got it, uh, the internet for this company was out in my area for almost the whole day. Might have even been out in the whole city. <laughs> But, but it was out for pretty much the whole day. So, so I, I couldn't use it even if I had a phone jack. Gotta get a phone jack. I, I wasn't gonna get a home phone because I have my cell phone and I, I'm, I'm paying that on my own. Yeah, the, I was on my parents' plan, but you know, I've, a few years ago, I decided to get get on my own plan and start paying my bills by myself. But yeah, yeah, I was just gonna use my cell phone and I haven't used a home phone since we got rid of ours years and years ago. I'm not gonna use a home phone. Really the only thing I would use a home phone for was for 911, uh, the, yeah, they can. I think they can track the location of home phones easier than cell phones. But I didn't want to pay just to use emergency calls. If 911 uh, phone calls were free, then I would get a home phone. Yeah, just, and they, they should be free. But, but I've heard like if you get a home phone years and years ago when everyone had it, you would sometimes have to activate 911. But some people didn't know that, so when they actually needed to call 911, it didn't work because they had it activated, which that, that's not right. Yeah, should, should be free. Uh, to call 911 no matter what. But speaking of 911, uh, I actually had to call 911 for the first time in my life. Yeah, I was just enjoying my my days off, and I was driving uh, around uh, and uh, I came to this stoplight. I stopped at the red light and I was the first car in my lane at the, the stop line. And the, the road I was on, it's 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 big. It, it's a five lane, well, including the two turning lanes. Uh, to turn left, it, it, it was five lanes where I was stopped. But anyway, I was stopped there for yeah at least 30 seconds, and the the light was still red. And and uh, this this car comes this way on the on the the crossing road. I guess 
and it's going through the intersection and uh, I'm not paying any attention to it. But then, then out of the, the corner of my eye, uh, another car, uh, two lanes away from me, just you know, drive right through the red light and the, the two cars collide. And yeah, and yeah, and I, I, um, yeah, and I see them crash. And they don't quite, you know, T-bone like this, but, uh, it, but they, they, they almost do. The car that was running the red light did keep going a little bit more, but then stop. And the, the car that was uh, crossing, yeah, that, that car seemed to take most of the damage. And, and yeah, yeah, it looked, it looked pretty bad. There was car parts flying everywhere. So yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. It, it looked like, so I decided to call 911 right there uh, in my car. The, the light was still red and I'm calling 911 and I get, get uh, through, took a little while. Uh, longer than I thought, but I get through and tell them where the accident is, and, and the light changes green. What well, when it changed green? I I didn't know what to do, and and the, the the car in the lane next to me, they didn't go either. So you know we're, we're both just just there not moving, even though they're light green and there are cars behind us, but uh, the car next to me starts going and I start going, uh, but I pull over quickly and still talking to the 911 operator and the operator asks if anyone needs an ambulance. I said, I don't know, but I can go check. So, yeah, I, I do, I pull over and just go over, ask both cars if they need an ambulance and they say no. And yeah, it looked like everyone was okay from, from what I can tell anyway, but yeah, yeah. And then the, the police came and I, I filled out a report like a, or a witness statement, I guess. That's the first time I had to do anything like that. I can't imagine that, that uh, they need me for like witness statements or, or well, in court, I should just say, like they, they do have all my information if they need to contact me, but it, it was pretty obvious the one driver ran a red, red light. It wasn't even like it was just changing yellow when they tried to make it. It was, it was, it had been red for a little while. Yeah, I don't know what was going on, but, but it, was, it was their fault entirely and that would be obvious. And there, there might even be cameras at that intersection. So yeah, I don't think they'll need me again. But yeah, that accident looks a lot worse than it was, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and I knew exactly what I, I needed to do. Uh, it, yeah, it wasn't like one of those situations where, I, where I'm like, what, what did I do? Yeah, I, I knew exactly that, exactly what to do. Yeah, I knew I should call 911 right away. You get to hear that all the time. Call 911 in emergencies. Yeah, yeah, you hear that so much. So it's like drilled into your head. Uh, yeah, but even so, I've had, I have heard of this 
uh, what they call the bystander effect. Uh, I think that's what it's called, where, where uh, you know, so something will be happening, and the more people witnessing uh, the emergency means that the less likely you will get help. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, but everyone thinks that someone else will do something so they don't do it, but if everyone thinks someone else will do it, then no, no one will do it. Yeah, and I, I didn't want to be uh, part of the bystander effect. I immediately thought of calling 911 and I, I did. And I, I still can't imagine that I never would have called 911 even years and years ago when I uh, was a lot shyer and quieter and uh, uh, not so self-confident. I, I, I still would have called 911. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine me not doing that especially in like a big emergency like like the, the car the accident that I saw but yeah yeah so anyway that that happened <laughs> and everyone I saw in the cars that were involved in accidents that they got out and were walking on their own so so it, it looked like everyone would be okay but, but yeah yeah it was still kind of scary and I'm, I'm glad I wasn't involved. Uh, and I know for some people with autism, they, they don't drive at all just because it's too uh, too much for them, I guess. Yeah, and I wasn't too excited to start driving. That's a whole nother video, so I, I won't go into that. But anyway, yeah, yeah, so, so I saw a car accident and I uh, had to call 911 for the first time in a lot in my life. Yeah, I, I hope that I don't have to call 911 again in my lifetime, but, but yeah, anything could happen. And hopefully I get this, uh, vlog out sooner uh, than, than my uh, last vlog because I, I don't have my computer here because I, I, I don't have internet so I had to edit the last vlog uh, back at the house I, yeah I filmed it at my apartment and had to take the footage to my house uh, and edited, but, but, uh, yeah, I was also uh, working. Yeah, so I was editing it just whenever I had time, which was sporadic, I guess, and it, it, it took a lot longer than it usually does. Yeah, hopefully I can edit quicker. I did bring my computer here because I was hoping to get the Wi-Fi up, but can't do that, so I have to take my computer back uh, to my house. So I'll have to edit this vlog uh, back at my house. Hopefully I can do it quicker and get, get this uploaded sooner. This year, in 2018, <laughs> maybe. Uh, I'll see but yeah that's gonna be it for this vlog so until next video goodbye